So first prototype of the capacitor stack for QI. Basically it's using small acrylic sheets to create a kind of slide. And we can see here there's four bolts, uh, M5 by 15 millimeters long with washers on the underside and then the nut on the top side. And as we can see there I've, in the corner, I've added top side and bottom side annotations so that the holes all match up. And I've deliberately slightly misaligned the holes where I've drilled them so that the slide can only fit in one orientation. So the idea then, it was that it would sit on, on the surface using the flat side of the bolt there where the th oh, it's slightly out of focus but sit on the flat side as such and as it's transparent we'll be able to see any arcing and any other sort of physical events um, and the conductors will come in and rather than soldering we will flatten out the conductors once we strip the sheath and uh, fan it out so that it's sort of the whole stack is as flat as possible and then it's, uh, it'll be manually or hand tightened on the, <clears throat> on the nuts to basically squash out as much air as possible. It still won't be a perfect vacuum, but ideally it should be much more flatter construct. So using some foam card, I've made a replica of the three unit CubeSat so that we can get into the, the mindset that we're building towards a future demonstrator mission. So that is 300 millimeters tall by 100 millimeters wide. Now I've made the base slightly wider and the top as well. And as you can see, I've cut out access holes at the bottom for any cabling and external wires that we might need. And on the top, there's a slit for other wires as well, which will tidy up. So with this CubeSat stack, we can now place the capacitor stack on top.